ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to something that I haven't posted on this channel for a very long time, and that is some Division 2, and I'm coming at you with some more build videos, well, build video, because, you know, I'm recording one video, but if a nigga know how to record two videos at a time, please let me know what pocket dimension are you using to do that. But anyway, today's video... I'm going to be going over my skill build that um, that I used. I believe this was the skill build that I also used to complete the legendary strongholds. But I do use this build on uh, heroic. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? What's the, the thing? Challenging. Yes, that's the difficulty before heroic. For challenging and hero heroic. Um, so without further ado, um, let's get into the build. So about this build. This build, um, it does have some damage to it, a little bit of damage, you know, as far as weapons go, especially if you have what I have equipped here with um, the rifle and it has in sync on it. So that's that's the first start off to this to this uh, build. But as you know, in in many skill builds, usually and especially this one, the weapon work more of utility to help you get more skill damage and in the case of in sync for my build i i can get both the weapon damage and i'm getting the the skill damage boost so that's also really really good to have as well but you can you know dish out a bit more damage when you have something like a rifle or a sniper rifle or you know However you choose to formulate your builds, it's all up to you and how you, you know, you like to play. So now, uh, this build also does have a, a, a little bit of versatility, versatility with, you know, the weapons you can change out and swap out. But, you know, there's mainly two uh, weapon types that um, I feel like you're going to be, you're going to get the most use out of, whether it's utility or for damage. Um, and then... I'm going to also show you the two exotic weapons that I pair with this build. And also, I'm going to show you um, what I swap out this the, the armor exotic for, which is waveform. So, first let's get into what exactly we have equipped on this build. So, first off, we're going to start off with the mask. The mask, of course... Is Hannah Yu. I have two pieces of Hannah Yu, which gives me 10% skill haste and 10% skill damage. Um, on this mask, I have skill tier, skill haste, um, and I don't have skill damage, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll it for skill damage. Um, so with this build, since it it mainly focuses, like I mainly focus on the damage side of the skill of of uh, you know skill builds with this one is um ideally if you're going full spec into you know just plain skill damage and as much skill damage as you want um for this build you're gonna want skill haste and skill damage um as rolls on your armor um you can go for more damage things like on some of my pieces i have like uh you know i have you know critical hit chance or critical hit damage you know to get more into that weapon damage or what you can do you can put in some armor regen or whatever thing you want to use to you know increase your survivability and protect yourself so then we go to the book bag book bag is also handed you like i mentioned uh i have skill damage on this one maxed out and i have skill haste and critical hit chance uh, then I go to my chess piece. Now the chess piece, I have Empress International. I have three pieces, which gives me skill health at one piece, skill damage at two pieces, and skill efficiency at three pieces. Um, excuse me. Uh, basically, for those of you who don't know, what skill efficiency basically is, it's just the overall boost to all stats for skills. So whether it's um, skill health, skill damage, uh, skill haste, skill duration, it's all that, all the skill attributes kind of jumbled up, well, they are jumbled up into one so that you get an overall boost. And on this, I have status effects, which I don't really need, I don't need, 
Um, but that's cool if I ever want to put on like a bleed hive or the stinger hive. Same, they're the same thing. I said bleed hive or stinger hive, like they two different things. But then I have skill damage, and then as my attachment, I have skill haste. And then for my gloves, also Empress International, I rerolled it for weapon damage. I'm going to explain that after I get into, um, after I finish up, you know, explaining all my pieces and what they have. On this gloves, I have skill damage, skill haste. And then on my holster, I have the exotic waveform. Skill tier, it rolls with skill damage, skill haste. And then for my knee pads, I have Empress International, skill haste, skill damage. Uh, for my weapons now, for the weapons, I'm running the exotic capacitor in this case. And I'm running the M1A CQB, uh, which has the critical hit damage, damage to armor, and I'm running in sync. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to get into, you know, what I mentioned before with why I have weapon damage on the gloves. So for this build, what you're going to need is the technician uh, specialization. You're going to need the technician specialization. So this will allow you to... You know, you don't need to have all your armor rolled with a skill tier because that'd be a waste because in a technician uh, specialization, it has a perk called Amped, which gives you an extra skill tier. So you could be at five skill tier pieces, but you'll go to six because of that perk. So that's why you're going to need this. And this glove piece, I just rolled for weapon damage because I wanted some extra weapon damage. So there's the explanation for that. So now we're going to go into my weapon and armor talents. So uh, for this capacitor, of course, you got the 40%, uh, the 40 stacks, and each stack is 1.5% skill damage. And after five seconds, they start to decay, decay by one per second. Um, also, this weapon is good, uh, which I run for the weapon damage because... For each skill tier that you have, each skill tier gain, uh, you get 7.5% weapon damage for each skill tier. So you can still get weapon damage off of skill tier. And, you know, you're still getting that, that extra boost is really good to have. Um, and then on the M1A CQB, I have in sync. So uh, hitting an enemy grants 15% skill damage for five seconds you know when you shoot them with your gun obviously um and then it also works vice versa with a skill hits an enemy or damages an enemy and now for my talents uh this is going to be the best as uh, the best skill for any skill build this is going to be the best talent that you can run which is kinetic momentum when in combat each skill generates a stack while active or not on cooldown so you know, even if you're not using it, those stacks are still there just as long as it's not on cooldown. Stacks increase your total skill damage by 1% and total skill repair by 2% up to 15 stacks per skill. It is lost when it's on cooldown. So this right here is going to work wonders for you for any skill build that you have, whether it's for, you know, healing or damage. Get Kinetic Momentum. Kinetic Momentum is going to help you out. Uh, amazingly nice. so now uh, we go to my backpack my backpack talent I'm running tech support where uh, skill kills basically I get a, a skill damage increase by 25% again as far as skill damage builds go this is uh, one of the best the best talent to me that you can run for that skill damage build that you got going on or if you decide to use this build you know um, and now for the exotic, which is waveform, which best skill exotic to run. Fuck Acosta's bag. That shit is trash. Uh, now, with waveform, it works similar to com kinetic momentum. However, it can only activate on one skill at a time and it just keeps transferring back and forth. So you generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second. And it caps at 10 stacks. After those 10, sec 10 seconds at the cap, the stacks are going to transfer to your next skill. And then it will keep repeating and repeating. So, you know, 
any one of your skills will always have a damage boost to it, that extra percentage. Uh, so yeah, now to go into the two weapon types that you can use. Uh, rifles, of course, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, this is going to be more for you want the your weapon to deal a, a little bit more damage while also providing you know the utility and supporting your skills so this is what i like to i like to run the rifle with it majority of the time however another weapon class that i use is that you can also put on um put on lmgs now this is mostly for utility and support because of the mag size you can always keep hitting an enemy and you can always keep refreshing in sync on it and you know you'll still be getting that weapon damage but you won't be dealing as much damage as per se a rifle and a rifle you just have to keep the the magazine isn't as large so you might lose in sync but you'll still be able to get that weapon damage so that's why you use that but the lmg works perfectly fine you know it's just for keeping that in sync refresh but it's all up to you whichever one you want to use in this build and make sure when you use an lmg you use something like the m249 uh quiet roar just something that has a high capacity of you know 100 and up just i don't because those are gonna you know keep it more consistent keep the the in sync stacks more consistently uh so then as far as the exotic deal, like i said uh, capacitor is for the weapon damage. I also do put on Scorpio. Scorpio falls into what the LMG falls into. It's more of a support. The the support uh, part to this build. Where um, Septic Shock. I'm going to read the talent for you real quick. Shooting a target applies stacks of Venom. Which lasts 10 seconds increasing stacks. Adds more severe debuffs to the target. So the more you hit a target. The, the more debuffs is going to be applied. But you mostly want to get it for number 7, which it reads, Target takes additional 20% damage from all sources. So that'll help your skill your skill builds, you know, get a little bit more damage in as far as, you know, with enemies and whatnot. And also, uh, you could also get it for um, number 3 and number 6. Because number 3 will disorient them, you know. They won't be, the enemies won't be in cover, you know, they'll be, you know walking around slowly or shock to keep them in place so you know it's it's really good for locking down enemies and keeping up that pressure and you know taking out people fairly quickly i might say myself so now we go into the skills the skills that i'm using you're going to want to run the drone and the turret which you can run any you can run whatever you want to run but i just tend to go with the the drone and the turret because you know the drone of course is going to seek them out and then you've got the the turret laying down laying down the extra heavy damage the, the turret's going to be your your heavy damage dealer so you know this will also help keep you know the enemies from shooting at you obviously because you know you'll stay out of cover longer you'll be able to build those in sync stacks so this is why you'd want to run the drone and the turret so on the turret, to look at my mods, I've got the duration, 7.2%. I've got 8.9% health and 4.3% damage. For the turret, I have the 7.9% health, 4.3% damage, as well as the 6.8% uh, to the duration. Like I said, that's, that's what this build is, like, you get good weapon damage, you know, if you're using in sync or even if you're using capacitor, you're still getting that good weapon damage. Yet at the same time, you're able to get a really strong, solid skill build that, you know, is versatile as far as, you know, you can put a little bit of armor on it. If you want to go that route or if you want to go like I did with the damage route, you could put a little bit of damage on it, whether that's critical hit chance, critical hit damage. Or as I did with the gloves, you put the the weapon damage uh, core attribute on it. So you know it's 
it's not you know you can't really go deep into the armor or damage with this build because you know it's it's more for skill but you can still potentially go that route to get a little bit more survivability or a little bit more uh weapon damage and now for the most important thing to show you guys which is the technician skill build which i mentioned which i mentioned in the beginning the technician specialization so these are what you're going to want your setup to look like if you're going to run this build so of course obviously you're going to want this is my rifle tier three uh you're going to want the assault rifle because capacitor is an assault rifle so you're definitely going to want that and then you're going to want lmg's onslaught perk uh in addition to that uh you're going to want amp two. i i i had i said that with a whole crazy list like you want to you're going to want amp because this, this this is the core perk that you're going to want to get. It costs 13 points. So if you don't have the technician, you know, specialization upgraded, upgrade to about 13 points and get this perk. Um, once you have these four, you know, the rifle, L, the rifle LMG and assault rifle and then amp. What you're going to want to do is for this slot right here, you're going to want to put uh, overclocked CPU. That's what that's the one you're gonna want to put is overclock CPU. Once you put on overclock CPU, that pretty much you know assists with your skill damage, so you could get a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so real quick, guys, um, I thank you for watching. Uh, I want you to try out this skill build for yourself, and now I'm just gonna show off just a little bit of you know what this skill build is capable of. So. Secure the building and recover any intel you can find.
There's a Black Tusk computer near your position. Find it and recover any intel it contains. Head towards the production studio at the top of the building. That's likely to be the focus of the Black Tusk operation. Hold it, Agent. There's another computer. Check it for intel before you head on through the building. Immediate medical assistance needed. Alright guys, so what you saw was just a little bit of gameplay, you know, with how the build is, how it works, and, you know, just to see it in action a little bit. Uh, that was Heroic Difficulty, you know, Viewpoint Museum, you know. Just thought I'd show it off just a little bit. But, as always, if you like the content that you have seen here, like, subscribe, and leave a comment to what builds you guys use. And with that being said, as usual, remember... Rage out and peace out. And speaking of out, I'm out as my character is in a whole hot ass military uniform outfit jamming with a boombox on his shoulder. Later, y'all.